Hey guys, Mr. Powers here. So I am not there today. I don't know if you could already tell. Um, you should have Mr. Cooper at school today. So I will not be there. I have a couple of doctor's appointments I have to go to. Sorry, I'm gonna miss you guys, but I will see you back again on Monday. Um, so in this video, I wanna go over a few things. The first thing I wanna talk about is Google Meet and what I call Google Meet etiquette. It just means how do we behave? How are we acting on Google Meet? Um, first thing I wanna talk about is if you show up late. Um, if you're late to the class, please don't show up saying, Mr. Powers, what did I miss? I don't know what to do. Um, the best thing would be to maybe type that over in the chat. Say, hey, Mr. Powers, I'm sorry I'm late. I just showed up. Can you, I don't know what to do. Or if there's like downtime, like when I'm not talking, you could say, Mr. Powers, this is Michael. I have a question. And then I could say, yes, Michael, what's your question? You could say, well, I just showed up. I'm sorry that I'm late but I missed a lot of our directions and then I could instruct you there. Um, it just feels like I'm kind of starting the instruction and then people are randomly just showing up late to my class. So I want you to think about it. Like if you were in my classroom and you show up late, you're not going to yell, Mr. Powers, I don't know what to do or I'm late. You're not going to yell that you're going to come in probably and sit down quietly. And then I would come over and catch you up where you need to be. So let's just keep do it that way. Um, like I said, you can post it in the chat and I'll be seeing that over there in the chat so I can answer your questions. Um, if you do have a question while I'm teaching or while others are talking, please don't interrupt other people. When it gets quiet for a second or someone quits talking, then I want you to announce yourself instead of just saying Mr. Powers, I would like you to say, Mr. Powers, this is Callie, I have a question. And I could say, and then wait for me and I will say, yes, Callie. And then you would say, whatever your question is, you could ask a question. Um, if you say you want to make a statement, you could say, Mr. Powers, I have, I want to make a statement or start with Mr. Powers. This is Ishwar. I have something to say, something like that. And then I could say, yes, Ishwar, what would you like to say? And you say, well, I want to answer Callie's question. And I'd be like, okay, okay go at it. Especially if we're having discussion, um, kind of like we did today, it would just be nice if we could go back and forth a little bit nicer and also announcing who we are because, um, Sometimes I hear you speak, but not all of you are showing up at the same time on my screen. So I'm not sure who's speaking all the time. So just announce who you are. And if you have a question, you want to make a statement or whatever it is. And just know that you can always type in the chat and I'll try to answer that as fast as I can. So with that said, today, your assignment, the first one is going to be W4F, which remember that stands for week four Friday. And it's the 50 states Kahoot. You're going to take this on your own time. It's not... Um, going to be all at once. So what will happen is you'll have your score and then I'll close it out when everyone is finished and we'll see who the winner is. Um, not as worried about the winner and losers as much as I am, just that you guys are have learned these and you're getting your states correct. So try to do as good as you can on that. When you finish that, then there is an Ed Puzzle. Again, W4F, which means week four Friday. Ed Puzzle is going to be the Indigenous People of America. It's a documentary. Um, it's only about five minutes. I want you to watch that and it's just going to give you a little bit of instruction about the early people who have come over in America. <clears throat> and um, there'll be, I'll ask two questions about it. And then when I get back on Monday, we're going to get deeper into that and talk more about the early people who have come to America. When you are finished with all of that, make sure you have everything turned in, completed for me. Um, I believe it doesn't look that way for me, but someone had showed me, I believe it turns gray these assignments when they are turned in. There is also a view assignments tab here that you can see if they've been turned in or just assigned. So just make sure you check through that. You have everything completed. Um, then if you need more Dreambox lessons or Lexia lessons, you can use the rest of your time if you have it to um, do those. If you are finished with all that, then you are welcome to um, go to Nitro type or something like that to do or Prodigy would work. Um, and spend the rest of your time with that. So our sub today should be Mr. Cooper. Be nice to him. I hope that I get a re good report from all of my classes. Um, I'll miss you guys and I'll see you Monday. Thank you.